Welcome to our review on energy analysis, electric current. So the first thing we're going to do is understand what an appliance actually is. So an electrical appliance transfers energy from chemical stores to other stores electrically. So to give you an example of this, you use hair dryers to dry your hair by using the energy which is transferred electrically to produce heating by radiation and transferred mechanically to move the fan and the air so your hair actually dries. If the device you're using has a higher power rating, then that means that it's going to need a greater amount of fuel to run than a lower powered device would. And a good example of this is if we consider mobile phones. So you go back to the good old Nokias, then those batteries would last for days and days and days. And you could literally not charge that phone up for a good week plus without any issues. If we consider the more modern phones, the ones that are the smartphones with the giant screens particularly, then you have to charge your phone every single day because it's going to be draining the battery because the modern phones are actually a much higher power rating than the good old Nokia bricks we used to have. So our appliances are going to be transferring energy between different stores. So to give you an idea of what's happening, I've just got three examples there for you. So if we consider a TV, first of all, that runs off mains electricity. So the store that has less energy after the use of the appliance is the chemical store. And the one that's got more energy after the use of the appliance would be the thermal store. With a DVD player still running off the mains, still chemical at the beginning, and it will have more energy in the kinetic store afterwards. And the smartphone uses a battery, which is a chemical store, which will be running lower after the use of the appliance, and that will have been transferred into the thermal store. One thing we do need to bear in mind when talking about these electrical appliances is that when current flows in a wire, the wire heats up. So that means we're transferring energy to a thermal store when you use any electrical appliance. This means that we are always wasting some energy. So whatever energy is transferred to the thermal store as a result of the wire heating up, that energy is wasted. It's not going into the intended use of our appliance. So we can carry out those energy analysis diagrams on anything that's an electrical appliance as well. So if we consider a kettle which is going to boil some water, the start point is when we turn the kettle on, the end point is the water boiling. So our physical situation, first of all, we have cold water in the kettle and we've got more fuel at the beginning. And then at the end, we've got boiling water in the kettle and less fuel. And in order to carry out that transfer, a current is flowing and heating an element in the kettle. So if we go on to draw our energy analysis diagram, we've got two stores the chemical store and the thermal store for water. Then what we find is initially we've got a reasonable amount in our chemical store and only a very small amount in our thermal store of water, but that's going to be transferred by electrical means and by heating by radiation and heating by particles to a lower amount in the chemical store and a greater amount in the thermal store of the water. The kind of question that they could ask you in terms of a calculation is given here. Calculate the time it takes for a two kilowatt kettle to boil 0.5 kilograms of water. Specific heat capacity of water is 4,200 joules per kilogram Kelvin and room temperature is 20 degrees Celsius. Assume all the energy transferred heats the water. First thing we're going to do is highlight, circle, underline or jot down the key numbers from that question so we don't have to keep rereading it. So from that, we know the power is two kilowatts and hopefully we remember that the first thing to do there is change that into watts by times in by a thousand. The mass is 0.5 kilograms, specific heat capacity 4,200 and we need to work out the temperature difference because we're boiling the water and we're starting at 20 degrees Celsius. So 100 minus 20 gives us 80 degrees Celsius. Second thing to do is to recall the equations that are relevant here. So we've got a specific heat capacity. So go straight to the data sheet and you will get your energy is mass times specific heat capacity times temperature change. And then we're also going to be talking about the time it takes for this. So it'll be energy is power times time. 
first thing we need to do then is to work out the energy which we can do using mass times specific heat capacity times temperature change because we've got all of that information so mass was 0.5 specific heat capacity 4200 temperature change was 80 which gives us our answer of 168,000 joules the last thing we need to do in order to work out our time is to use our energy as power times time rearrange it so time is the subject so time is energy divided by power substitute in our values 168,000 divided by 2000 gives us an answer of 84 seconds hopefully at the end of this video you can describe what electrical appliances do you can describe how they change energy in stores and carry out an energy analysis for a system where a current flows including the related calculations